this does not preclude me. I don't feel like I belong in this world. I am damaged. I just want to disappear, die. All I can do to hold on is to know that someday I will be able to end my life, to not have to be in this world and be in so much pain, misery, deep sadness. From my earliest memory, these were, all my, these were my all consuming thoughts. This was the way I walked through the world. By the time I reached my early 20s, I could not stay out of mental hospitals. Manic episodes associated with my bipolar disorder, excessive drinking, dangerously promiscuous behavior, getting myself into debt, followed by being thrown into the depths of the deepest, darkest, soul-swallowing depression, debilitating panic attacks associated with my anxiety disorder, feeling as if I was going to shatter into pieces from the panic, being so sensitive to the sounds and lights of the world associated with my post-traumatic stress disorder, making it nearly impossible for me to be out in the world without feeling like someone was going to hurt me. All of this was way too much. I was a failure, a waste of life, way too sick to be part of this world. I didn't see it at the time, but I was brave. Even though I was in the throes of my mental illness, there was something inside of me wanting to find a light at the end of the deep, dark tunnel that insisted on me ending my life. My brave then took the form of getting sober. When I got sober, all the reasons I drank and did drugs came flooding in, but now I was able to really face them. I was very lucky to find therapists and psychiatrists that are trusted, and most importantly, trusted me, something I know that is not offered to many people due to the stigma of mental illness. I continued to build my support system, building relationships with healthy people who, like me, were dedicated to working on themselves. They understood what I was dealing with and so freely gave me their love and support. What also was and is still so healing is that they too needed me, and my giving them love and support helped me feel part of, feel like I mattered and belonged in this world. Now to show up in this world, to be part of this world that I so thought I was too damaged for, to start showing up no matter how depressed, how manic, how anxious, how hypervigilant I was. I needed to learn that my condition at the time did not preclude me from being good enough, important enough to be part of this world. Through a lot of work, I started to make a place for myself. I, along with the words, love, hugs, phone calls of my friends and family, literally pulled myself out of bed even when I was truly convinced that being in the world was way too painful. By showing up at work and for myself one day at a time, I began to deal myself in. During this time, I also began to understand the different types of showing up. Sometimes it meant literally showing up for work, sometimes it meant taking a mental health day to take care of myself, and sometimes it meant taking medical leave so I could keep literally showing up for life. I stand before you today, a 44-year-old woman, once a little girl whose consuming thought was that all I had to do was to hold on until I was 30, and then when the all-encompassing pain that was on my life was still there, I would be able to give myself permission to end my life. Today, I do not go to bed every night praying to God not to have me wake up. Instead, I, got to, I go to bed tired from having such a full life. And when I do wake up, I am not so angry and in despair that God did not answer my wishes. Just a few months ago, I had a manic episode on my way to work. I started having visual hallucinations. Instead of turning around, telling myself I was too sick, too crazy to matter, I walked into my boss's office, a boss who I trust, which is very important. As I talked to her about what I was experiencing, I was telling her I was worth it. That although I needed help, I was still the very competent, dependable, necessary person she has worked with for six years. I showed up, kept dealing myself in. I knew that no matter how sick I felt at the time, I still belonged in this world, that I mattered. My brave, my purpose today is that I want to make sure people know that they are not alone, that they are not damaged, too sick, too much for this world. I want to be that boss that someone who is struggling can talk to. By sharing my story, I want people to know that although hope may feel unreachable, it is not, and people like me can hold hope until they can find it, 
till they can deal themselves in. This is my brave today. What is yours? Thank you.